Oh no! Elaine? She's not gonna be happy about this. That fort has seen better days. It's Elaine. I've got to change her back somehow. It's a glowing ember left over from the battle. Ouch! It's an informative plaque put up by the Plunder Island Naturalist Society. Plunder Island Feral Chicken, one of Plunder Island's most common fauna and the animal for which our capital of Puerto Pollo is named. Neat. I don't think so. Mysterious. Five cents. How inspiring. A budding young entrepreneur. You, you've got to help me. We're closed. You've, you've got to help. I closed? Yep. The child labor laws around here are very strict. B -b -b my girlfriend has been placed under a pirate curse. Oh. Then you need to see the lady over in Plunder Swamp. She's been leaving flyers around. You might find one somewhere here in town. That mug's for paying customers only. We're still closed. Sorry, but rules are rules. The Surgeon General of Plunder Island has determined that ingredients in this product may be harmful or fatal if swallowed. It's a great big vat full of red dye. Number two. Danger Cove. What a strange flower. Wow, this jungle is thick. If I wanted to take this trail, I'd have to hack my way through. Beware. Hmm. Good evening. At the tone, Caribbean standard time will be 10, 20, 6, and 30, 9 seconds. Beep. Blonde Beard's Chicken Shop. It's the two-way speaker for the walkthrough. Uh, hello? 
I can't understand you. What was that? Eh, forget it. Feeling down because your chicks turned to gold? Come to the swamp, get your fortune told. Voodoo and things, formerly just voodoo. Visit our new location on Plunder Island. It's part of the complex drainage system for Blonde Beard's chicken shop. It's as thick as gravy. It's locked. Feeling down because your chicks turned to gold? Come to the swamp, get your fortune told. Voodoo and things, formerly just voodoo. Visit our new location on Plunder Island. It's an old crow's nest, converted into a sign for the chicken shop. In memory of the chickens who gave their lives during the Great Puerto Pollo Potluck Jamboree of 1621. It's locked. It's locked. The Barbary Coast. We're closed. Come back later. Uh, but you don't understand. I need help. It's an emergency. A hair emergency? No. My, my girlfriend... It, well, no, actually, I suppose she's my fiancé now. Although I guess she never really said yes. Because the curse kind of stopped her in mid-sentence. Uh, curse? Did you say curse? You'll want to see the voodoo lady. She handles curses. It's just you again. Just your most terrifying image of evil revisited. Yeah, right. I bring you warning from the infernal realms. Do not go farther into the swamp. Turn back. Turn back. Darkness will envelop you. <laughs> How'd you get all the way up there? Through sheer force of will. Uh-huh. All right, it was a bunch of those weird voodoo kids. They found me on shore and put me on top of this spike all the time thinking they were so funny. Do you need me to help you down? Help! I need no help from you foolish mortals. I am Murray, the all-powerful demonic skull. Okay, just thought I'd ask. Don't get me wrong, I do appreciate the offer. What are you doing up there? I am standing as a testament. Standing? Hanging as a testament to the power of the forces of evil that will one day claim victory over the entire Earth. 
How long are you going to keep doing that? As long as it takes. Must get pretty dull up there, I suppose. Never! The powers of darkness are never dull. We will one day prove that... Oh, who am I trying to fool? I'm bored out of my skull. Figuratively speaking, of course. You seem restless. Oh, I don't know. It's just that not many people come through this swamp. What would you rather be doing? I need to be out among the lesser people, terrifying them and causing pain and misery. That would make you happy? Yes, happy in a dark demonic way. Do you know anything about lifting curses? Oh, right. I know a lot about lifting curses. That's why I'm a disembodied talking skull, sitting on top of a spike in the middle of a swamp. You seem bitter. I'm sorry. It's been a rough day. I'd love to stay and chat, but uh, I gotta go. I think he wants to be alone right now. I don't know if I want to carry him around. He's kind of annoying. It's my pal from LeChuck's ship. Pack of gum. scissors. It's a voodoo pen. What a relief. I'm sure it won't do anything. After all, it's just a paper voodoo doll. Oh, the pain. Somewhere. We have known each other for a very long time, Guybrush Threepwood. You've been through much, so it is understandable that you have forgotten me. We met on Melee Island when you were first trying to become a pirate. Hang on a second. Are we going to do one of those flashback things? They always make me nauseous. No, I'll make this quick. I twice helped you defeat the evil pirate LeChuck, first by preparing the voodoo antiroot, I'm starting to remember. And then again by helping you prepare a voodoo doll of his zombie form. That's right. You've helped so much and I still don't know your name. I am known by many names on many different islands. But names have little importance. You should know this more than anyone, Guybrush Threepwood. Yes, you're right. Hey, are you making fun of me? I wouldn't dream of it. Nice place. I love what you've done with it. Thank you. You'll have to excuse the mess. The kids came over to play with their paper voodoo dolls. They're adorable children. Would you like to see some pictures? Perhaps later. Yes, there's no time for that now. I sense that something terrible has happened. Hey, you're good. Something terrible has happened. I finally proposed to Elaine. Congratulations. That doesn't sound so terrible. 
And when I placed the engagement ring on her hand, she was placed under a horrible pirate curse and trapped for eternity as a solid gold statue. Oh, that explains it. I was struck with a wave of overwhelming hatred and anger. Yeah, that LeChuck was a pretty mean guy. I was talking about Elaine. No, there's no time to worry about that now. We have to hurry. Do not panic, Guybrush. She will be safe until we can break the curse. You only have to worry about her being stolen. Where did you hide her? I can't tell you. It's too secret. Very well. But I am very much relieved to hear that she is safe and... Uh, I just remembered something I've got to do. Uh, see you around. You didn't hide her. Go, Guybrush, hurry, before you're too late. Elaine! <laughs> I've got to get her back. This is so embarrassing. <laughs> Looks like I'm gonna need some more help. Someone's stolen Elaine. That is unfortunate. It will be difficult to get her back. Do you know who kidnapped her? Not for certain, but I suspect that it's the mangy pirates anchored in Danger Cove. Can you give me something to lift the curse? No, LeChuck's curse is a very powerful one. Fueled by his anger and his intense frustration in dealing with the opposite sex. I have nothing here to lift so powerful a curse, but there is one way. Great, tell me. You have to replace the cursed ring with a pure one of greater or equal value. A good guideline is two months' salary. Where am I gonna find a huge uncursed diamond ring? Legends speak of a whopping big diamond ring on Blood Island. Blood Island? I've never heard of it. You will soon become quite familiar with it. But you must be careful, Guybrush. I have foreseen that your journey will be filled with peril and deception. I have also seen that Blood Island will be the place where you will die. And you're saying this is a place I should go? What are you, nuts? No, the value of the ring on Blood Island comes from its emotional significance. It represents a pure, true love, a power greater than any other. Oh, that's sweet. I, I think I have something in my eye. Do not mock the voodoo priestess. How do I get to Blood Island? You will need three things. A map to Blood Island, for the journey is a long and dangerous one. A seaworthy ship to take you there. And an experienced crew. Map, ship, and crew. Got it. Well, how will I find the ring on Blood Island? All I can say is that I see a long and painful history connected with that ring and I feel a great sadness associated with it. You will learn more once you have actually found the island. Blood Island, here I come. Thanks for your help, gotta go. It's my pal from LeChuck's ship.
Brimstone Beach Club. It's an ice bucket for a bottle of sparkling grog. It's full of dirty dishes. It's full of dirty towels. Those towels are for members only. And nothing makes a day on the beach like a generous helping of greasy deep fried food. Chicken Franks, chock full of processed beaks and waddles. It's coconut cooking oil. May I please have some of your oil? That oil is solely for the use of the fry station technician. He's a member of the bustling Plunder Island workforce. Yes, may I help you? My name is Guybrush Threepwood, and I'm a mighty pirate. Threepwood? You must be seersucker Skip Rackham's cousin. How are Muffy and the twins? Uh, who? Hey, it's a lovely afternoon for the beach today. Not too crowded yet. There's a crafts workshop on the south beach and a swapper size class at two and four. Water's warm and the waves aren't too high. Just watch out for the occasional undead corpse washing up on shore. Might want to keep the kids away from any rotting flesh. But otherwise, the siege early today shouldn't spoil your afternoon. Just between you and me, the undead are notoriously bad tippers. So it's just as well they didn't take over the island, eh? <laughs> Let me see your membership card and we'll fix you right up. You don't need to see my identification. I don't need to see your identification. I'm not the pirate you're looking for. You're not the pirate I'm looking for. I can go about my business. You can go about your business. Move along. Move along, move. Hey, wait a minute. Your mind games won't work on me, boy. No membership card, I see. Well, sir, you're at the Brimstone Beach Country Club in Smorgy, part of the Leisure Lovers planned community for retired pirates. It's very exclusive. I'm afraid if you don't have a membership card, you cannot use any of the club's amenities. I don't want an amenity. I had to eat one of those while I was lost at sea and it was terrible. Then let me also point out that without that membership card, you are not permitted on the beach, you cannot use any of our towels, and you can't have anything from the grill. Good day. You can't go in there. That's for members only. Welcome, patron, to the Barbary Coast, where every haircut is an adventure. Aye, and if you're wanting a haircut, you'll have to wait until I'm finished with Captain Rottingham here. Are you guys pirate barbers? We prefer the term buccaneer hairstylists. Great! Maybe you guys can help me find this huge diamond ring I'm looking for. Diamond ring? Yeah, it's supposedly enormous, and it's on Blood Island. Blood Island? Never heard of it. It's a funny story, really. I need it to lift this curse that's turned my girlfriend into a solid gold statue. Solid gold? Wait a second, did I just share too much? It's only got a little bit of spitting hair on it. It's a comb, probably made from the jawbone of some near-extinct sea mammal. Ah! Hands off that comb, or I'll have your bangs, you thieving dog! It's a bunch of combs floating in that blue stuff. Hands off those combs. Those are ours.
There's a plaque on this portrait. It says, Captain Richard Squawkins. There never was a more despicable knave, but we gave him an impeccable body wave. Captain Charles Vane. The captain stood seven feet high in his boots, but you'd never have guessed that we dyed his roots. Another satisfied customer. Jack Rackaham. Always a dapper crook. Jack wore the layered look. In loving memory. Crackers. 1684 to 1685. Captain Steve Grummet. He fought and he struggled. He kicked and he brawled. But when he left our shop, we made sure he was bald. Thomas Lewd. Here was a dangerous man when accosted, but he looked pretty good when his hair had been frosted. Rachel Squall. This lady, we're certain, was no debutante. She killed 20 men while she wore this buffant. Edward Screech. When it came to rum, Edward Screech never skimped. He drank a whole bottle while he had his hair crimped. Wow, I bet those could cut through anything. I can't reach them. Don't toss that, you foul creature, or this ape may ruin my haircut. Did you know you're starting to go gray? I most certainly am not. Uh, don't get me wrong, gray hair suits you. It doesn't, I mean, of course it would, but uh, I don't have to worry about that for several years. If I were you, I'd worry more about those split ends. Split ends? I'll have you know I've killed men for comments less slanderous than that. You've got a bald spot starting here in the back. Bald? You're lying, of course. If you say so. All I know is that there's definitely some kind of shine going on back here. You seem irritable. Is it from your dry scalp? My scalp is lovingly massaged with the finest creams and oils in the world, twice daily. Yeah, that's a little more than I wanted to know. Your petty jobs and insults mean nothing to me. They're doing great things with dandruff shampoo these days. I suggest you leave, boy, before you force me to defend my honor. You seem busy. I'll come back later. Ahoy there! I'm Guybrush Threepwood, and I'm a mighty pie. Quiet! Red. Huh? Don't distract him while he's working on me. Aye, laddie. You'll have to wait your turn. It's the pirate we. Ahoy there! I'm Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate. So? So, it's good to meet you, Mr... Bill. Bill? That's your pirate name, Bill? Cutthroat Bill. Oh, I see. Well, that puts a whole new spin on it, doesn't it? Are you ever going back to pirating? Maybe. Someday. If I find the right captain. Perfect! I'll be your captain. Onward to Blood Island and high adventure. Wanna come? You a captain? Hardly. I can hold my breath for 10 minutes. And what do you have to show for it? I've got a ton of cool stories. Treasure, immense mounds of gold and diamonds, solid gold scepters of power, anything? Well, I've got these nickels. Wooden? Uh, yeah. Some treasure hunter you are. You couldn't find gold in a jewelry shop. I bet I could too, you big old bedwetting duty head. How much would you bet? Well, I've got these nickels. Right. 
come back when you have some real treasure to show me. It's been a pleasure. Bye. Ahoy there, I'm Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate. Of course you are. Okay then, who are you? Edward Van Helgen. Not the... That's right, mine is the name that pirates fear the most. Edward Snugglecakes Van Helgen. Dude! I bet you have a ton of cool pirate stories. No, I couldn't. Oh, come on, I'd really like to hear some of... The year was 1675. We were on a course towards the wreck of the rattling phlegm. Our days were filled with songs of the voyage and the untold riches we'd find at our destination. Two months into our journey, we realized something was horribly wrong. Is this gonna be scary? Because I warn you, I'm easily startled and will scream like a baby. Steal yourself, young pirate. We were all stricken with a melody. A diabolical song that I shall never forget. La 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 la. La 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 la. Hey, that's kind of catchy. Aye, all too catchy for a crew of 50 men confined to a ship hundreds of miles from port. No one could think of anything else, and many threw themselves into the sea rather than hear any more of the incessant humming. We returned with but eight of our crew left. The doomed voyage of the Obsessivo Compulsivo will haunt me forever. How would you like to join my ever-growing pirate crew? Your crew? Why would I want to be on your crew? It's gonna be a blast. We're going to Blood Island. Sorry, Threepwood. As much as I'd love to be out at sea again, I could never serve a captain who wasn't a gentleman and who wasn't my equal. I'm at least two times your equal. Then prove it. If you can defeat me in a gentleman's duel, I'll join your crew. All right, let's get to dueling. No, 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 there are rules. If you want to duel with me, you have to give me sufficient insults. Mm, okay. Hey, that's a nice shirt. How long have you been colorblind? Oh, please. Nice cologne you're wearing. Did you actually roll around in dung or just dab a little behind each ear? That's not the type of insult I had in mind. I don't want to insult you. Why can't we just get along? Whoa, look at the time. Gotta scoot. It's the handle the barber uses to raise and lower the chair. Ah, don't you be touching that there handle, you hair lubber. It's locked. Hey! It's a sticker from Blood Island. It says, Blood Island is for bleeders. A message from the Blood Island Tourism Council. Hey, maybe the performer who owns this trunk knows how to get to Blood Island. There's some fake spears. I don't need a prop. I don't need a prop.
I wonder if there's a part in this play for a dashing rogue pirate. Hi. Hi. It's a magic wand. Watch me make this disappear. It's empty. Or is it? I don't want to disturb the mystic powers of the hat. Nothing up my sleeve? Presto! Hey, it worked! There's something inside. The A, V, C's of ventriloquism. It'd be a nice coat if it weren't for that dandruff. I'd hate people to think less of this guy just because of a slight problem with... Hey, this isn't dandruff. Oh! It's a donkey mask. To swab or not to swab? No, no, that's not right. Come on, slap it. It's an actor. Thespian. Then I kill Caesar, follow that up with a little soft shoe. Ahoy! Can I join your show? Let me be blunt. You just don't have the hands of a spear carrier. You have no idea how often I hear that. Carry on. I don't remember. Is the water ballet before or after? That is just disturbing. So how'd you get roped into doing this show? I'm a spokesmodel, actually. But what I really want to do is act. People just don't take you seriously when you're a spokesmodel. How surprising. Yeah, isn't it? Break a peg leg. Thanks. A pirate by any other name would still reek. Arr. Next, I burn... It's Yorick's headstone from Hamlet. And then I smash the watermelon. You've been struck with the hair demons. What are you talking about? The cursed head vermin, the scourge of every hygienic sailor on the seven seas. That's a lie. Sure as I'm standing here, they're wriggling about your scalp like a pack of wretched sea lions. Good analogy. This calls for drastic action. I'm bringing in old Ironsides. No, no, let's not be too rash. Rash? That's a bad sign. There's no time to lose. I'm going to have to amputate. No! No! You'll ruin my hair! Ahoy there! I'm Guybrush Threepwood, here to serve all your mighty pirate needs. Pleasure to meet you, Guybrush. I am Haggis McMutton of the Clan McMutton. How would you like to join my crew? You seem like a nice enough sort, Guybrush. But a man cannot serve as my captain unless he earns me respect. And how would a man go about doing that? By besting me in a time-honored test of strength. Helping you move? Oh, could you? I just have a bed and a few boxes of books. I, I was just kidding. Was that really the test of strength? No, 
I'm talking about the traditional Highland display of strength and virility, the caber toss. Sounds great. Let's do it. I would never follow such a weak captain. I sure could use a haircut. Have a seat, laddie, and I'll do you up with a fine quaff. I can't reach it. I'm too low. Ugh, blast that ineffectual paperweight. I'll have to go find another. Well, what about my haircut? Keep your skirt on, lad. the whole island, and I couldn't have found a single rock for a paperweight. I suppose I'll just have to eyeball your haircut. I just remembered I have another appointment. Oh, I was going to give you a French braid, too. My pirate instincts tell me I should keep this to myself. Now there's a challenge to the field of honor. Choose your weapon. Cool. I choose this pistol. If I beat you, will you join my crew? The odds of you beating me are so astronomical, I will take that. Again, I prove to you I'm the greatest duelist in the world! Haven't I shamed you enough? You haven't even begun to see me shamed. Back to the field of honor, then. Choose your weapon. It's a banjo case. I choose the banjo. I accept. You do? Pretty good boy. Let's see you follow this. He's good. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'll never beat him. shot my banjo. You can't be sure of that. That shot may have come from the grassy knoll. Of all the lowdown tricks, I never heard of anything so low. I completely misjudged you. You are a pirate after all. I'd be proud to join your crew. Great. I'll just pack this stuff up and get ready. And give me back my gun. I'll need two more sailors for my crew. Reservation? Of course I have a reservation. Then let's see your reservation slip. No reservation slip, huh? Then out you go! Bush, a pristine example of one of the many decorative bushes used for landscaping Plunder Island. This plaque says something about the flower I just cut. Ipecac, Cephalus ipecacuana, one of the creeping vines common throughout Plunder Island. The syrup made from the ipecac flowers was used by the early settlers of Plunder Island as a purgative. I wonder what this sign means. Snake crossing? What possible harm could a snake? Ooh. Well, this isn't good. It's the fearsome head of that pirate-eating snake. I can't see it, but I bet it's Snake Away brand snake repellent. I think it's a machete sharp enough to cut through even the largest reptiles. I can't reach it. I can't reach it. It's a priceless, delicate Fabergé egg. It's a complete array of vacuum cleaner attachments. Hmm. I hate to think what would happen if these fell into the wrong hands. These should only be used for good. That won't help me get out of this snake. That 
That won't help me get out of this snake. The pancakes have already been partially digested. Syrup won't help. It's volume C and it's mostly digested. I can only make out page 243. A compass is a magnetized bit of metal floating in a solution. What a completely random piece of trivia. mostly digested and I really don't enjoy handling them. That won't help me get out of this snake. It's the remains of a member of the Plunder Island Naturalist Society. Those guys sure are dedicated. That's one of the few things that won't taste that's one of the few things that won't taste better with syrup. It makes syrup of Ipecac. That seems logical. sure was a close one. I thought for sure when I got eaten by that snake that I was done for. Thank goodness I'm safe. No? Hey! Hang on, the quicksand is sucking all the cool stuff I found in that snake from my pants. Now there's an odd sensation. Quicksand pit. Quicksand pits of this type are common throughout Plunder Island's nature trails. Many an unwary traveler has found himself trapped and unable to escape. Uh-oh, someone, anyone, please, please help me, I'm sinking? Papa Pichu Bush. Discovered by Plunder Island's indigenous peoples, this bush is named after a native word meaning youch. It's a bunch of conveniently placed hollow reeds. is always off when I'm under stress. I might miss. If only I had some way of dropping the weight on the branch from directly above. My aim is always off when I'm under stress. I might miss. If only I had some way of dropping the weight on the branch from directly above. I don't think she'd like that. It's just floating there. I better not put it away just yet. I think I'm onto something here. Ah, Papa Pichu. 
Well, I got the thorn. I hope that was worth it. <laughs> Perfect. For once today, things are going... Well, darn. Hey. Thank goodness for those unpredictable Caribbean trade winds. Neat, a world-class pea shooter. the bay. Those must be the pirates who've taken Elaine. Either it's a time-honored form of pirate torture, or just a loose board. Looks like a light is on in the captain's cabin. Fifteen men on a dead man's... Huh. Who are you? and Guybrush Threepwood reporting for duty, sir. Huh? Hmm. You don't look like a member of my crew. Honest, I'm the new guy. I haven't heard of any new recruits. I'll have to check that out with my captain. Your captain? Yes, Threepwood. You've come aboard the Sea Cucumber. I am Mr. Fossey, and the first mate. And my captain? He's the scourge of the seven seas. The Dread Pirate. Let's you. Yes, Captain. It's on the table, sir. Let's show. That's right. Captain, let's. Yes, Captain. Just an intruder, sir. And I'm dealing with him. He says you'll be tortured. Choose your punishment. You can either be tarred and feathered, or you can walk the plank. Any tortures not involving pain, humiliation, or stickiness? No. So, well, I suppose we'll have to go with walking the plank. We're trying to avoid using the tar and feathers. It's messy, and we need to save the tar for emergency leak repair. What do you say, men? Shall we make him walk the plank? <laughs> Any last words, Threepwood? I'll be back to kill you all. All right, in you go. <laughs> That's odd. There was no splash. Splash! Uh. I don't want to throw my voice there.
I'll have to buy some lemonade first. Hello there, Sonny. You open yet? Oh boy, oh boy! My first customer. Gee willikers, is this gonna be swell. Hi, my name's Kenny. Kenny Foulmouth. It sure would be neat if you would buy some of my lemonade. It only costs a nickel. And best of all, I have a bottomless mug policy. Well, that does sound like a good deal. I'll be going now. Bye, mister. I'd like to buy some lemonade. Sure. We have a bottomless mug policy, you know. That'll be a nickel. Hey, there's no bottom to this mug. Give me my money back. I'm sorry. I did tell you about our bottomless mug policy, and there are no refunds. Why, you little... Thank you. Come again. Reservation? Of course I have a reservation. Then let's see your reservation slip. Very good. You may seat yourself, Mr. Uh, pardon me, Mrs. Brinestoop. Delicious. Whoa! This biscuit is full of maggots! Aye! Ha ha ha! That's my special ingredient! That's just the right amount of exotic flavor. It's a good thing, too, because I can't keep them out of the food around here. I don't need any more biscuits. Would you like this jawbreaker? Thanks to you. Ouch! I think I loosed me gold tooth. Arr, I knew sweets were being bad for me teeth but it had a fine crunch and were a fiesta of flavor. From now on, I'll be sticking to fleshier foodstuffs. Something, something chewy. Well, there I go again. This old salt's got a craving for something to squish between me teeth. Would you like some gum? Thanks. Hmm. This is really good steak-flavored gum. It gets you here. And it gets you right here. Why, you little scamp. <laughs> That's quite a funny trick you've played on old Cap and Blonde Beard. The Devil Chicken. It's the Mater D podium. Value meal. Two drumsticks plus super slaw. Looks like a fine deal if you like slaw. Bucket O Booty. A captain sized bucket of eyes, beaks, and talons. Traditional grog. 
brewed the old-fashioned way, the unsanitary way. Blondebeard Super Slaw, our own blend of shredded palm fronds and seaweed. Looks like a fine deal if you like slaw. He's awfully reserved for a pirate. Hey, mister. Mister, you listening? Ah! It's one of LeChuck's skeletal horde. Aye, I fixed his little red dinghy, but good. Mm, the undead that walk among us must surely be destroyed, lest their evil like overrun and befoul the world of the living. Aye, and he complained about me checking. Oh. This whole sordid scene has litigation written all over it. It says, ask me about Grim Fandango. I don't want people always asking me about Grim Fandango. Check this out. Is that real gold? I guess you can find treasure. So you'll join my crew? Sure, as long as my partners will join too. I'll need one more sailor for my crew. Are you sure you don't want to join my crew? It's as I told you, Guybrush, not until you can best me in the cable toss. Sounds great. Let's do it. <laughs> You'll have to throw father if you want me to join your crew. It's a wooden sawhorse supporting that keg of rum. It's an enormous keg of old gut blast brand rum. Nah, I need to keep a clear head for now. There are ants crawling all over it. Well, this knife might cut through regular wood, but not a rubber tree. Sumatran rubber tree, donated to Puerto Pollo by our Sumatran sister city of Vacaville. This tree is the only one of its kind in the entire Western Hemisphere, and stands as an everlasting symbol of the friendship between our two cities. Caribbean rubber tree, one of the many rubber trees common throughout the Caribbean, used as raw material for shipbuilding. Excuse me. Yes, you filthy little man. My card. Let me see that. Oh no, in the name of all things clean, you've got a membership. Yes, and I think I'll just take one of your fluffy clean towels and enjoy a nice relaxing stroll down your beach. No, you mustn't.
then perhaps I'll stay here and tell you my life story. Now that I think about it, it is nice out on the far end of the beach. You should go there. You should go there now. May I please have some of your oil? That oil is solely for the use of the fry station technician. Nice fluffy towel. These holes in my shoes, I'll never get across that hot beach. Wow, that's one hot beach. Nice fluffy towel. I'll just take one more. That doesn't need drying. I don't need the plank. It's a big old sloppy bucket of tar. How strange. The hold is full of broken luggage. my voice there. Hmm. Nah. Who's there? Again with the sneaking on board the ship! I don't know how or why you came back on board, but the next time you walk the plank will be your last! What's that, Captain? Handles? Yes, sir. Tar and feathers. I know it's messy, but it's the only torture we have left. Our illustrious captain has declared that you shall be tarred and feathered. I do now? Hmm. I don't know. We've never done this before. Aren't you humiliated? I guess so, but no more than usual. Well, just get lost then. Do you have a 
más de... ¡Madre de Dios! ¡Es el pueblo diablo! Sí, he dejado en libertad los prisioneros y ahora vengo por ti. Well, you're not taking me without a fight. Ugh, this chicken grease washed off all the feathers. Whoops, I better keep quiet. Absolutely, Captain. I'll get right on it after I have my dinner. What's that, Captain? I eat too much fried chicken. Well, I... I've just got a weakness for chicken, that's all. I know you don't have any weaknesses, Captain LeChimp. You're an overachiever, a doer. Well, I'm just a tiny little fly. LeChimp? The captain is an ape? Well, if the captain is an ape, then Mr. Fossey must be... Aye, aye, Captain! Fresh bananas for the whole crew! An utter loon. What's that, Captain? Your parasites are bothering you. Well, of course I'll groom you, sir. You know, sir, finding this gold statue may be just the boost our crew needs. What, with the riches we get from this, we can get new and better ships and become the terror of the Caribbean! <clears throat> Mr. Fossey, I've been thinking. Are you all right, Captain? You sound different. Don't interrupt. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Maybe it's time we gave up pirating. I mean, take a look around at me and the rest of the crew. We're all monkeys. You mean in the Darwinian sense, sir? No, I mean in the quite literal sense. Uh, have you noticed that the crew is happier swinging from the masts than swabbing the decks? I don't even want to mention what they've been flinging around the ship. Are you suggesting that I'm not disciplining the crew enough? No, I'm suggesting that we all give up this charade and go back to the trees. That's the life for a monkey, not sailing the seas for months on end. Well, if you feel so strongly about it, sir, I suppose I can't argue. I think our last order of business should be to dig up that statue and... It'll be tough on the men, sir, but I'll tell them that you think it best. Okay, but first we should dig up that statue and give it to... I'll make sure they understand that it's not their fault. Very good, and then we can dig up that statue and... Okay, never mind then. That must be the map to where they buried Elaine. I can't imagine any need for a loaf of plunder bread. I don't want another biscuit. Ah, I hate porcelain. It's a long story. I'll explain later. It's two tickets for the Long John Silver Center for the Performing Arts. I don't go in for all that highbrow, artsy theater stuff. Besides, if I want to enter the theater, I can always use the stage door. Now the corn is all buttery and greasy. I think I'll leave that here. I don't want anything that smelly. I don't want anything that smelly. I avoid salt whenever possible and only use fresh ground pepper. If I pick it up, it'll melt in my pants. I don't want that. I'm not in the mood for bananas. I'm not that interested in mashed potatoes right now. I never liked cranberries and I don't plan to start now. I don't want any smelly old hay. Yeah, porcelain. I'm not in the mood for fruit. It's some smelly, smelly stuff. I don't want anything that smelly. I think Mr. Fossey is the only guy who can talk to him. It's a tire swing. 
I don't like to chew anything a gorilla sat on. It's some smelly, smelly stuff. That doesn't need drying. No, I like the natural look. It smells like something's burning. It must be this shoddy 17th century electrical wiring. Wait a second. Somebody's been monkeying around with these controls. That's it! That must be where Elaine is buried. And now... The moment I know you've all been waiting for! How about some amazing juggling? Is this a dagger I see before me? No, it's three! See how I juggle these knives? At great personal risk to myself, and to you if I slip. He's a great juggler, but I sure wish he'd get off the stage so I can dig Elena. up. Alas, poor Yorick, I knew him. And his two pals. We Drop it, drop it. Chicken grease won't do any good with that. Towels are all wet now. Whew. 
I'd rather go around the long way than go across that hot sand. Nice fluffy towel. I'll just take one more. Towels are all I'd rather go around to the gate than go through that towel business again. It's one ugly mug. It's also empty. There's nothing in it to drink. He's incredibly pale. Wow, you're pale. Look, babe, I haven't been sunbathing for very long, so cut me some slack. How long have you been out here? Since June. Oh, and by the way, Happy New Year. I've seen correctional fluids with better color than you. Yeah, babe. I'm not the tannest cat around, but as you can see, I'm working on it. You look like you've lived under a rock your whole life. My complexion is a little on the light side, I'll give you that, but soon I'll be a bronzed guy. You've got the savage pale. Please, babe, if you say any more, I will become very self-conscious. Hey, I can see my reflection in your chest. Thank you for your keen insight, my friend. Why don't you go do something useful now? Like inhale a puffer fish. Okay, babe? You're so pale you make snow look tan. Be quiet now. If I breached chalk, it wouldn't be as pale as you. All right, all right, yes. I'm very pale, thank you. There, you've hurt me deeply and you know I mean it. Are you happy, huh, babe? Are you happy? Are you happy now? Yes. I hate you. Get me a drink. I'm looking for Blood Island. Do you know where it is? Nope. Never heard of it. Hmm. Hmm. All right. All right. So you do know how to get to Blood Island. Yeah, yeah. They had a really nice room there, too. The Good Soup Plantation Resort Hotel and Casino. It was the place to go before they moved the shipping lanes. I used to book so many gigs there, I had the map tattooed on my back. On your back? All those little yellow sticky notes just kept getting lost. Oh. Why did you lie and say you didn't know how to get to Blood Island? I, I, I just don't want to say. What? It's your face, babe. There, I said it, babe. I hope you can forgive me. I just gotta be honest. I just didn't think you were the right type for Blood Island. That's not some place I picture your career going right now. Let me get you a booking somewhere that's in your league. I can gig you at this little shoe factory in Hoboken. And it's Blood Island or nothing. That's the way it's gotta be, babe, then that's the way it's gotta be. But you're gonna have to find new representation, okay? Can I see your map to Blood Island? You can see it when I roll over to tan my back. When will that be? Could be a long time, babe. A very, very long time. See you around. I don't think he'd like that. I don't want to cinch that with this ember. Oh boy, oh boy! Gee willikers, is this gonna be swell? Hey! 
Just because you're a grown-up doesn't mean you can waste my time. Is the lemonade good? Oh, gosh, yes. It's a very helpful drink. Even better for you than placing leeches on your tongue. Wow. Give me some more lemonade, you little chiseler. That'll be a nickel. <laughs> ah, that was as refreshing as morning dew. Hey, how did you drink all the lemonade? You switched mugs on me, you cheat. I hope you're happy. You put a budding young entrepreneur out of business. Ugh, thank goodness it's not a porcelain pitcher. I don't need it anymore. It's full of dye now. I've brought you a new mug. Thanks! Here's your drink, sir. Look! Palido! You're burning! Ah! All those months in the sun and my tan is just gonna peel away! I better turn over! Good idea. I'll never memorize that map. It's far too complex. That's barbaric. Chicken grease won't do any good with that. I want to hang on to this fly. That's barbaric. A damp towel would be of no use here. I don't think that would help. 